Hi everyone. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional and this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. It has been a while that I created uh, a detailed video on any of the features. So today I thought that I will create on one. And today's video is about one of the feature which I think will be interesting for the inventory valuation perspective. We all know that inventory is a very critical thing for us. So this is a box asset ledger. So the use case is that when we acquire the fixed asset through let's say inventory transaction, whether it is a purchase order invoice or maybe inventory to fix asset journal, which we are using to acquire fixed asset. So system consider that acquisition amount, but what if, if you do the adjustment later on through the inventory adjustment or maybe PO invoice or some adjustments you are doing, that adjustment value does not reflect to your actual fixed asset acquisition value. So how do you adjust this? Uh, uh, that is about this particular feature. So what we do is that let's understand before enabling this feature, the exact uh, problem statement with one example, and then we enable and then see how this is solving this issue. So what I've done is I have created a one PO with this product. I invoice that PO with the thousand. So which means my fixed asset sub ledger got impacted with the thousand value as a acquisition value. Now later on, I realized the value of this product was not thousand. It is 5,000, uh, 6,000. So I have to adjust 5,000. So I use the inventory adjustment, uh, closing and adjustment option and I added a value of 6,000 to increase the product value by 6,000. Uh, 6, now, obviously this will increase my positive incoming the inventory value for PO, but this thousand is the result of when I took, took out that inventory, uh, that product from the inventory. So then I run the inventory recalculation. Now, when I do the inventory recalculation, it is going to post the adjustment voucher. Now in the adjustment voucher, what it will do, it will try to adjust this 5,000. So it will add a value of, let's say 5,000 to the inventory and then adjustment. And then since I have used this inventory already to my fixed asset, so it will take out this 5,000 by crediting and debit the fixed asset debit account. But the problem is that this is not going to hit my sub ledger here. Ideally, end of this, my fixed asset value also should be 6,000, but it will remain 1,000. But let's look at in the system, the exactly what I have just shown you. So this is my asset. If you see value is showing 1,000, how it is showing. If you see, I have acquired through this 1,000 as a, a PO. How do you see? So this is against this purchase order, this invoice, this vendor value is 1,000. How do I know? Uh, this is against the inventory. So what I can do is that I can go to this books and then check the inventory transaction for this. And in the inventory transaction, you see my value is become 6,000. And why it has become 6,000? Because I had a value of cost of 1,000, but then I did the 5,000 as a adjustment and I can see that how the adjustment got impacted. But then also once I run the recalculation, it has increased the value for the sold, but what you observe here is that my netbook value for this is still 1000. This should have been my 6000. Where I did this adjustment, so you see, I use this adjustment screen here by fetching that transaction, did the adjustment of 5000 and then did the recalculation here with that product. So that is my problem statement that it is not impacting the sub ledger. Now let's do one thing. Let's create a PO and do the same process after enabling the feature. So first thing is we go and enable this feature and I'm going to create a similar transaction with this PO, do the invoicing and then see what is the impact. Now I have created a one purchase order. I have taken the same product, but this time I've kept the value as 2000 and I have enabled the fixed asset to acquire using this purchase order. Now I'm going to do the invoicing for this purchase order. So now I have posted the purchase order invoice and you can see the status is invoice. Now what it should do ideally is to create a fixed asset for us. So if I do this refresh, you can see the fixed asset 10 is created. The network value is 2000 here. 
if you look at here 2000 and if I go to books I can see all the details 2000 PO vendor and I can even go and look at the inventory transaction with the 2000 2000 now let's say I realize now this that I need to do some adjustment to this it the PO was not 2000 inventory value it is something let's say some other value so what I'll do is that I will go to inventory transactions and then closing an adjustment I'll try to perform the uh, adjustment for this 2000 and increase the value so yeah so if you see the last one it is still appearing here so I will just increase the value of 2000 to let's say make add more 3000 into this and make it 7000 and I will remove this transaction uh, okay it has removed everything so let me fetch again so I will make uh, 7000 and let me post this transaction now so what it is going to do it is going to increase the value of my PO uh, invoice so now what I can do is I can go and this is my inventory transaction so if you will see it has made the 7000 as the value of PO in PO transaction and if I go to the transaction detail it will show me this 5000 edge adjustment now what I'll do is that I am going to run the recalculation for this just to make sure that any impact as you know that if we have any value change in the inventory if we run the recalculation system try to do the adjustment for all the issue transaction now what is the issue transaction here for us is this 2000 but before enabling feature this was getting posted correctly but it was not impacting FSA ledger but let's see now if I do the recalculation is it going to post to my sub ledger and increase the uh, value by 5000 for my sub ledger netbook value so I'm running this recalculation so it is doing the recalculation let's wait for some time so now uh, our recalculation has been uh, completed now let's see if it is increasing this value so yes it has impacted this but this was happening earlier also but the key thing for us is to look at whether it is updating this acquisition value or not so if I refresh uh, and uh, look at my transaction so if you look at here in this it had a 2000 as the inquisition value and after the recalculation it has increased the value of my fixed asset by this and the transaction it has posted is my in acquisition adjustment and I can always look for the voucher so it has debited my fixed asset fixed asset issue and then it has done this debit so ideally what it is doing so this was reaching till this level but now what it is doing it is uh, taking this value because it was debit so it was it is taking the credit out of it now and then it is doing the FA acquisition account whatever it is by 5000 and here FA sub ledger is getting impacted so this new transaction is getting created when I use this feature and earlier this transaction we need to do it manually as an adjustment but now it is happening automatically and it is taking care of all the financial records and everything on my network value on the fixed asset transactions and everything it is taking care for me now it takes some time but if you see now it is appearing as six seven thousand for the fixed asset and you can also look at the profile it is depreciating with the value of seven thousand whereas if you look at the previous example here it did not do the adjustment and it kept only thousand here without this feature enabled so hope this helps you and i think it is a very good feature to making sure our inventory adjustment all the fixed assets sub ledger and everything getting impacted consistently no manual adjustment and all the values are posted correctly in financials thank you that's it for this video hope this helps you to solve your one of the or eliminate one of the manual work in your project thank you see you in the next one